We have another tree in the Magnoliaceae family, but this is a different genera. It is Liriodendron tulipifera. So Liriodendron is the genus, tulipifera is the specific epitaph. Its common name is yellow hyphen poplar, or tulip poplar, all one word. Not a true tulip, clearly, and also not a true poplar. So some of the wood qualities might be similar to that of poplar, which is where it would get this name. It's native to the southeast portion of the United States, and it's planted uh, throughout maybe the Midwest and the eastern uh, portion of the U.S. as an ornamental or yard tree. can reach quite a large size in the right environment. might be a little shorter uh, as you move further west, and it gets a little drier and a little windier. Let's take a close look at some of the bark features, which you'll remember possibly from the magnolia video, and the leaves and the bud and that should help you and there'll be a picture of, of what the flower looks like although the flower you would typically only see in maybe may june time frame the bark as we saw in some of the other just magnolia is a gray in color has minimal texture although as this tree gets older this is a fairly young tree it will develop uh, furrows not as thick as we might see in some species, but it will develop a furrowed bark with fairly straight line fissures coming up. Here you can see some of the leaves. These are simple, alternately arranged leaves. And it has sort of a tulip or t-shirt-like shape to it. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. So you can see on the twig, alternately arranged. So a leaf and then a leaf and then a leaf coming down. Here at the very end, right here, where my finger is tapping, that's the bud, and it looks sort of like a little, I think it looks a bit like a duck bill as you go in around, and it has a valvate bud, and valvate is where the bud scales come together and form a single seam down the side. Many of the leaves have a long petiole and then end in this sort of tulip shape, here you can get a sense of the size of the leaf, although the leaves can vary quite a bit in size, depending if it is a sun leaf or a shade leaf. Usually a really nice dark green, a little shiny, and on the underside it'll be a lighter in color, and you can really see the prominent veins as they come through. As I mentioned for the tulip poplar, it's unlikely that you would see the flowers in the fall of the year, but they do happen in the spring, and this is what they would look like. And this is what the fruit would look like, which you might see coming through in the fall, but typically it's higher up in the canopy where the tree has gotten more sunlight. To give you a sense of tree form, here we see the tree single trunked, goes up, and these can be fairly tall in their native range, although they are likely shorter in most landscapes. It does tend to keep a single trunk, and the branching is narrower than we might see in something like the oaks.